Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. My name is Alicia, and on this channel, I talk all things luxury, life, and fashion. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Now, six months ago, I went from this to this. And I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a review on the Clements wallet and a little bit of a comparison between the two and the pros and cons of the Clements wallet. This particular wallet is the monogram canvas one. It is fuchsia on the inside and has gold hardware. Now Louis Vuitton make the Clements wallet in a range of materials. Obviously there is the monogram canvas, there's the Demi Azura canvas, they have epi leather and emprunt. They also do it in a range of colors on the inside. So they've got, I believe, rose ballerina, they've got noir, they've got fuchsia, and then the hardware comes in gold and Silver. It is worth mentioning that there are certain combinations um, and it's definitely not a design your own kind of situation. Moving on to the specifics of this particular wallet. So this one is monogram canvas like I said. Um, the trimming and the lining is made from leather. It is gold hardware. The gold hardware is realistically just restricted to the zipper. That is the main zipper here and also the zipper inside the coin slot. Now this measures 20 centimeters by 9 centimeters by 2 centimeters across here. So this wallet has got eight card slots. It's got two large compartments here, a coin, I guess coin section um, that is zipped and it has two flaps as well. And this wallet currently retails in Australia for $825. Moving on to what is currently in my wallet. So I have filled all eight card slots. You guys can see the card slots are just here. It's four on each side. I've got some coins in this coin zip section. I will say anything more than like nine or 10 coins, it does kind of start to feel a little bit bulky. In one of my side pockets, I've got cash. In the other side pocket, I've got the swipe to our apartment. And then in the large compartments in both of them, it's just kind of all these random cards that I couldn't fit in the card slots. Pros and cons of this wallet. So this wallet is larger, which in my situation is a pro. It fits a lot more. Um, I think it is really, really nice. It's a great starter wallet. The only thing I will say that I have an issue with is ironically how big this is. So if you have the monogram wallet or you are looking at a wallet of this size and you own a bag, for example, like the Louis Vuitton Alma BB or this is also an issue um, with the multi pusher accessoire. It really just perfectly fits lengthwise um, and it only fits in the bigger pouch of the multi pusher. So it doesn't even fit in the small one. I find that sometimes I do just opt to take cards out that I need for a specific situation and I just leave the wallet at home completely. Whereas with my previous wallet, I literally took it everywhere because it was small enough like um, my previous wallet was the coin card holder. It is from the Louis Vuitton men's collection. That fits in my Jacques Mousse Leche Keto long. So it was a good size, but it only had four card slots and it was significantly smaller. I really couldn't put coins in there. I There was a, like, um, a pocket on the back of the wallet and I rarely use that because I don't trust the cards not to fall out. So I guess the biggest pro and the biggest change is I carry a lot more cards with me. I can carry cash, I can carry coins um, without kind of worrying about them falling out of the back. The other thing that I will mention with this wallet is the zipper on the coin purse. When you close it, you need to make sure that the zipper is facing down or even if it's facing this way, like up, it's fine. But if it faces to the side and you actually zip the wallet shut, I'm gonna try to show you. If you zip the wallet shut and it's facing the wrong way, it actually, I think in the long run would ruin the zipper. So I don't know if you guys can tell, there's a little bit of a, it's not exactly straight. There's kind of like a little bulge out on this side. And that's purely because the zipper, the zip is like, I guess, on a perpendicular angle as opposed to parallel. Um, that's the biggest negative, which is something that I think you just get used to. But other than that, I think this is a great wallet. I definitely don't regret 
changing it. I still do keep my coin and card holder handy because I think obviously when I use like my YSL Socate or when I use my Jacquemus Lechiquito, I realistically prefer that one because it is smaller, it's compact and it fits in both of those bags. Whereas this really doesn't fit in either of those bags. Um, and like I said, it doesn't even fit in the smaller pouch of the multi pusher let me show you i have the two bags here we have the alma bb and we have the multi pusher accessoire now this is the wallet and i'm going to just show you so on the small pouch as we can see which is just here it will not fit lengthwise because the zipper is it's way too small to get the wallet in whereas opposed to the pouch on the back this is the larger of the two you can fit it, but it's literally pretty much an almost perfect fit um, in there. So it does take up a lot of space. And then I'm going to show you with the Alma BB. So this is the bag and just across here. You also have to keep in mind with this bag that it's tapered. So it's actually getting smaller as you move closer to the top. So similarly to the multi pusher this is very much a, like you stick it in diagonally and then it takes up, I don't know if you can see it properly, I will try and get a better video of it, but it pretty much takes up a good chunk of the space. So that is something to keep in mind. If you were someone who carries a larger bag, like for example, this is not an issue when I use my Neverfull, it's only a problem when I use my smaller bags. That is it for today's video. I hope this has helped you if you are in the market for a new wallet i will say if you find this to be a little bit too long i could recommend compact wallets if you are very set on sticking to women's collections or you can look into men's slgs i think there are a lot of amazing options in the men's collection for example my previous wallet did come out of the men's collection so there are plenty of things obviously you can look at other brands as well but i will say as a general rule of thumb this size is a very standard size when it comes to women's long wallets so if you are someone with an alma or a smaller bag that is something to take in consideration um also it goes without saying i would highly recommend you take your most frequently used bag in store when you do purchase these because it gives you an idea of how much you can actually fit in said bag after you stick a giant wallet in thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are bye